DJI, together with Good Morning America, went on a spectacular journey to another breathtaking natural wonder, the Ngorogoro Crater in Tanzania. On our quest to track and film wild animals in their natural habitat, our team and equipment once again were pushed to their limits. We faced scorching heat, dust and the constant movements while we moved through the rough terrain. As we were not allowed to step out of the vehicles while we were in the crater, we had to work and operate from the moving jeeps. In this sequel of the ABC Hidden World series, we invited viewers to follow our trail and experience the beauty of nature via live broadcast. Utilizing the DJI Phantom 4 and the Inspire 1, we captured never before seen aerial wildlife footage. Thank DJI for those drones because wow, have they captured so much. In fact, let's take a look at what our drones captured for you this morning in just the past couple of hours. We were really excited to test the new features of the DJI Phantom 4 in these stunning surroundings. Active track and obstacle avoidance allowed us to autonomously follow cars through a dense forest and fly a perfect circle around animals like zebras. Tapfly in sport mode helped us to capture images that were once extremely difficult to achieve. One of our major goals was to approach all animals as unobtrusively as possible. Animal Planet's re-owned wildlife expert, Dave Salmoni, guided and trained us on animal behavior. When we went in with the drones, the first thing I noticed is it's very unintrusive. The prey species, they were a lot more skittish, so we had to be a lot further away to start with those. And then we saw sort of the bigger things that are both prey and, and, and predator, like a hyena, and they were very curious. Lions, of course, because they were confident species, they really just didn't care. The footage that I'm seeing from these drones is incredible. It's offering us angles and views that we just wouldn't get any other way. And lastly, talking with the anti-poaching team and the wildlife managers around here, it seems like we could come up with a lot of applications for a drone in what they do. But then I think science is going to pick up on it. We're going to be able to do numbers and we're going to be able to do habitat. We'll be able to have a lot more access to the animals we're trying to learn about. Using DJI technology, we position viewers eye to eye with those majestic creatures without interfering with their natural habitat. For the first time, viewers at home were provided an aerial live glimpse into the endangered beauty of this earthbound Garden of Eden. 